Okay, uh, just after fans turned on, the motor gives the blade uh, an angular acceleration given as that. Um, determine the magnitude and the velocity and the acceleration of the tip P located at the edge there. Okay, uh, so everything everything's at rest when T equals zero. So basically, to find the acceleration and velocity of point P. Uh, we first need to find the angular acceleration and angular velocity. So if the angular acceleration is easy because it's given to us at e equals 20 times e to the negative 0.6. And again, I'll just plug in three seconds at this point because we know that. And that gives me 3.306 radians per second squared. So that is the angular acceleration. Uh, of this fan uh, after three seconds. Now we need to find the angular velocity. So what we'll use is we'll use that the angular acceleration is the time derivative of the angular velocity, right? Rearranging this, I find that uh, d omega equals alpha dt, which I can then integrate because I know alpha as a function of t. So plugging that in, get my integral of dw or d omega excuse me we're going to take that again it starts from rest and goes up to omega okay and that equals the uh, alpha from zero to some t and again that's 20 times e to the negative 0 0.6 t right so we just take the time derivative of the right side uh, the derivative of the left side is very simply omega Derivative of the right side then becomes 20 over negative 0.6 e to the negative 0.6 t. Okay, and again, I'm going to do that from 0 up to t, recognizing that when I plug in 0, it doesn't actually go to 0, it goes to 1. So that's going to be 20 divided by uh, negative 0.6 times the quantity e to the the uh, negative point t point six t to the minus one like so okay um, now plugging in t equals three seconds i can find that omega at this point is then omega equals 20, oops, uh, let's see if I can get this eraser to work. Okay, it should be 27.8 radians per second. Okay, so that's omega when t equals three. Okay, so now that I've got that, I can very easily find the velocity of point P, which is simply omega r, which is then 27.8 times r, which is 1.75, which is equal to 48.7, and that will be feet per second. And that's the answer to that. So that velocity is actually going to be in that direction right there. That'll be the velocity. Again, it'll be tangent to the path, which would be uh, basically perpendicular to a radius going outward, right? Where you know, my radius is given like that. So it's going straight down. It might be straight up at this point. Anyway, my acceleration, my tangential acceleration then is alpha times r. And again, alpha is 3.306 times 1.75. And again, that's going to be 579 uh radians per second okay then i have a normal acceleration which is equal to omega squared times r where again omega squared is 27.8 squared times r which is 1.75 which equals 1355 uh feet Per second and again that should not be radians that should be feet excuse me on that one okay so then I have my normal acceleration which again my normal acceleration is going to be 
in that direction, pointing in towards the center. The uh, tangential acceleration is that, but of course, the normal acceleration looks to be dominating. But to find that the uh, the magnitude, I get 1355 squared plus uh, 5.79 squared, and the magnitude of that acceleration is then really, when I round to four significant figures, it's really just that 1355. It's overly dominating, and again, that's feet per second squared, which is the answer for this guy.